Mark chapter 16. Mark was sempa e trade nsia. 15 to 20. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. So then, after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. Twenty. And they went forth. And preach everywhere. The Lord working with them. And confirming the word with signs following. Amen. From this we clearly begin to see if we are really in league and we are working with him then he's going to work through us. He's going to confirm his word with signs following. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we wonder how comes we don't see evidence that he is with us. We don't have to cry for evidence if we only obey. If you do what he tells you to do and you hear him telling you to do it and you obey, you will see him confirming his word with signs for you. I think that basically the problem of the church has been a problem of unbelief. He said, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. When we obey him and go and preach everywhere he asks us to go preach his word. So you do that. If you got hands, then you lay the hands. Then you believe that he will do what he says he will do. Are you listening to me? Yes. We shouldn't cry, no signs, no signs. If you step out, the signs will follow. Anybody who dares to follow and obey, eh? the signs follow. Because these signs shall follow them. So the question is, do you speak with new tongues? If you speak with new tongues, then believe the rest, that the rest will happen. So as these signs that shall follow them that believe. I believe she didn't just end with tongues. All the signs he said she'll follow, they follow. 
Are you listening to me? We'll cast our devils. I see you bit too to our money. What I want to say. The, the preaching of the word with evidence has become more compelling in the age in which we live. Yes, There are some things which people will not believe unless they see. Are you listening to me? Yes. Unless they see. And if we understand this thing, there's a realm we we'll walk in, which will be a normal realm. Now say me as I and pen pen so be a nantia and yet dada ababa ye nancy and was some pen so a kind of realm where we step in that realm. Say ye two and a more a cross some pen pen so anymore. As believers. Say a did it for and expect that God. Will confirm his word. Are you listening to me? Yes. We need to break that barrier. That don't believe has put us in. Break yes. that barrier. And step in the dimension where God is with you. And you know he's with you. And he will confirm his word. Which signs follow him. Hallelujah. Amen. It's so very important that we understand this. So, so, so very important. Are you listening to me? Yes. I want us to open our Bibles to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. From verse 12. You're free. I can care for it. You do me. John 14, 12. You're not going to care for it. You do me. You do me. You do Let me begin from verse 8. So you get a picture. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Philip said, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen the Father. He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. The Father that dwelleth in you, he doeth the works. So why do you doubt? That when you obey the Father and do what is asked you to do, the works, He won't do the works. Say, we are a city in my channel. Now we are near or see you now. A new man, no, on ye. Believe me that I, I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sick. Jimmy, this said, we were a janimu, na a janin so a woman, and yes, sir, and you're not. He said, believe me for the very work sake. Are you listening to me? Yes. There is a belief that comes when the works are made manifest. 
You don't struggle to get people to believe. They see the works. And the Eli Elijah on Mount Carmel. Elijah. Who, who doesn't know with that encounter that Yahweh is God? What happened on Mount Carmel? I will come up upon the sun. Near see what on one crown. I ain't say a ruddy and a yawing. Are you listening to me? We didn't have to talk too much. Send a cassette to let God be God. The God that answered by fire, let him be God. I see you, my uncle, your uncle, your uncle, or not a jump at Cassano, or your new man. Let him be God. So sometimes Christians are caught in such unbelief that unless somebody lay hands on them, somebody prophesies, they can't believe God. Walking in the realm of miracles is not part of them. Make it happen. Manisi. Let it fight. Make it happen. Let your faith move out of inertia <laughs> into the dimension where it is, it is on a move. It's a believe me for the very work's sake. Yes, 12. He says, very, very, I say unto you. Who is speaking here? When I cast our hand. Who is speaking here? Who? Jesus. Yes, Christ. And he said, very, very, I say unto you. No cry, no cry, me so said. He that believed on me. The works that I do shall he do also. And you may me no 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 so ebeye. Is that okay? What we are saying? He said, he that believes in me. The works that I do shall he do also. So, everybody who believes in Jesus, the works that Jesus does, you should also be able to do. That is what he's saying here. Can we take God as his way? So you yeah, bet yeah, me yeah, yeah, for yes, not simple, no. without any is and but look let me tell you a lot of Christians will get to heaven and regret that this thing is so simple. How can we complicate it and we never walk in Christianity? So you bet me off and you pass some no never operated as Christians. How come? Abibia and Matan, Nansubia and Matan, Yamu Bebe, Yabako, do or swa, Yabenu, Yahoo pass a set Yama Wenina, Suna or Ho, and Te Bani Saint and a young. Come, a Bani Saint. The voice of unbelief and people open up their mouth to speak disbelief and doubt is a normal conversation among Christians. And they did it for your commodity, Aqua Quay said, A year and yen yen and they say, A gin tan tano, and no, I say a man, it's your commodity, a year dinina, a year sa and commodity, and sometimes it's embarrassing. A todebia, a yadia, a ferry. Ah, Christians don't talk like that. Christopher Cassassi, they don't behave like that. One thing, this, sir. He that believe on me, the works that I do shall he do also. I say, Nanya, or Jimmy D. Ayasa, and you may and on so ever yet. And greater works than these shall he do. Na in you may acres yet and on so be ye. And greater works than these shall he do. In you may acres yet and see ye and obey ye. Because I go unto my father. Because I go unto my father. And listen. You see, people just take this scripture and act on it. But you see, what he's trying to say is this scripture we are about to read is a link to the greater works. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, 
That will I do. And no, Namaye. And whatever you ask, shall ask in my name. Now, Bibi Piara will be some. That will I do. And no, Namaye. In fact, when you look at this scripture, it is not prayer. Look at the scripture again. It is not prayer. It is not prayer. I try to look at the ask. It so is talking about desire. It is talking about craving, strong craving. So it so is talking about you know, you want to see that thing happen. So what do you do? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oshe, 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 Bissano, Na, Oshe, 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 you say, oh God, help me, God, in Jesus' name, will you send angels and will you... No, 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 no. You look at the situation and say, in Jesus' name. Leave! In Jesus' name. Be mute! In Jesus' name. I command healing right now. I say, hey, people be a see you, man. I say, hey, that one is not prayer. I see when you... Now, who shall not say, oh, yes, I'm going to be a 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 yes, i am going to be a yes 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 i am this is how you operate. Because now, out of prayer and all that, you are standing on something. So now it's time to begin to make declarations. According to the will of God. You begin to declare the counsel of God. And whatsoever. And whatsoever. Ye shall ask. Ye shall ask. Ye shall ask. In my name, that will I do. And no, na meye. That will I do. And no, na meye. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Amba e jano se ni ban e nyonyam. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Na e nyonyam se a ke jano e wani bani mu. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting the picture? If we need a yeah. It's like Jesus speaking to the fig tree. I say, yes, let so. no man eat fruit of he, he, he didn't pray. He said, Let no man eat fruit of you hereafter. Forever As hereafter. Yes, Chris, so Jira brought me to Anna Hona or Cassatra. They say, and my only pepiara and me a bonnet be a ye a so abba a free and net echo. And they just left. You see, if we walk in this realm, so one and two are some pepper and so in one, you can release blessings upon people's lives, and Amen. those people will never fail. They will fly in this life. Amen. Because of the blessings you release. Upon. But don't ever use it to curse anybody. Don't ever use it to curse anybody. Don't So Jesus said, let no man eat fruit of him forever after. Hereafter, no. King James English is something else. Always trying to say, let no man eat fruit of this tree again. No, I can say, I have to my dear, I have to say, 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 I have
The Bible says, and the disciples heard him. Now trust them, say, it's for anything. So the following day, they passed that way. And they called his attention. Master, the fig tree which you curse is withered away. I say, oh, right. Hey, yes, sir, bro, do me do ya, who do me, you know, and pa, a who? The fig tree. Bro, do me do ya, yes. Ah, who do me, you know, a who? We are talking about greater works. Again, ya can was some, a numa, I can see. Or the works of God. And I'm young, who pon, a numa. And how did Jesus answer them? Have the faith of God. Have the God kind of faith. He said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. In every mountain that confronts you, you must have a word to say to that mountain. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Are you encountering some mountains in your life? What do you say? What do you say? Some of you have stopped confronting the mountains because you think the mountains will never move. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be that removed and be that cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart. And shall not doubt in his heart. And shall not doubt in his heart. You know what I'm telling you? Every one of you sitting here can have a miracle. You get what I mean? And shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe. That those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he says. Whatsoever he shall ask in my name. I will do it. May I will do it. May that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. When you walk in this realm, in whatever you do, the Father is glorified. Can you imagine you live a life on this earth where you don't give any glory to what the enemy can do, but you give glory to what God can do by your faith in God? Rise up on the inside of you. sorry, a free woman. Rise up on the inside of Sorry, 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 free woman. And believe. Najidi. And believe. Najidi. Hallelujah. Amen. It's so very important. That we walk in this realm. Say what a yes, sir. we make this a lifestyle. Woman, you dad, bravo. If you don't make this a lifestyle, so life what, situations you? will intimidate you and you will live a defeated Christian life. That's why the reason why a lot of Christians are defeated. Woman, we are your dad, bravo. A yet, Tibiana, who will a beckon was said. Now, one can such as a Uber bottle and see a crystal for be brave and then why you're in Google for what do you more? Let no mountain intimidate you. The words in your mouth should cause a mountain to be moved. It must move. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be that removed. 
and be that cast into the sea. Nakoshipumuno and shall not doubt in his heart. Na onya ajin tanta wana kume muno and shall not doubt in his heart. Na onya ajin tanta wana kume muno but shall believe. Na mom obeji edi that those things which he says shall come to pass. Se aye and some na okay no bebe muno. You see the conditions. And he shall not doubt in his heart. The man who is saying unto this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he says. Whatever he says, it shall happen. Working the works of God. Working the works of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3, from verse 1, please. Acts chapter 3. Peter and John went together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. Now, don't she and Cronim no Petro and Johanny Elbow Muelco, a year, I sorry fear her, ne a year, and Piper don't stream. And a certain lame man from his mother's womb was carried. Whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Now, are you bubuani bia? Are you bubuani feeling na yam? Ah, yeah, na waswaro ebetu aye epon fefeno ano na da da no abesre aye sika e waho ebra wo remu. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple? Ask them an arms. Now, who said Petro and Yohani? I say, I'm sorry if you are no, I won't see. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. Now, Petro and Yohani, I catch it, or do any see the son, I catch it, say, Shay. Look on us. Shay. Why would Peter suddenly? Say, look on us. I then a petrol back. I said, Shayin. I mentioned last week that when people are in tune with the Spirit of God, they're able to tell what God wants to do. Now, said that not instruments, God's instruments, they only do what God wants them to do. Now, church, I can say, when I what sits on now, when you own the corner, what the Nyan Yakupo cana and no end away. Look on us, Shayin. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Now, oh, yeah, so edit here on. Then Peter says, Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Peter has said it. Petro, I can we. Hello. Hi. Hmm? Mm. Who is going to do it? Why ne baby? The Jesus in whose name he said a man should rise and walk is the one who is going to make it happen. Amen. Yes, Christo. Aye o nipana o boy ni din se ni dimu sorry nante no or no and a baby jumano. And when we make such declarations, we should expect him to be at work. Na because he initiated the whole process by even putting it in our heart to say what we said. Yeah, yes, sir, and Pemuka Sana. Yeah, the need your man to say obey a juman or no and I say a jumana. Yeah, you know, I say. And he took him by the right hand. And he lifted him up. And immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. Yes. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. 
na o o hwi ye no onante na oni wa ebo ra asori edemwo na onante na o hwi hwi eji onyankopon aye hallelujah amen the people saw him walking and praising god and they knew that it was he who sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Now what they were going to say, oh yes, sir, oh, but when you are, it's not a point for fear, no, dada, oh, sir, 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 and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch. That is called Solomon's greatly wandering. I told you when I was in the final year in the university. In, in Katanga. One of my mates. Also found a year engineer. He was reading chemical engineering. Suddenly he developed a trouble. I mean, I went to the SIS form with him and we came to from in St. Augustine's and we came together. He came from St. Peter's, came to the SIS form in St. Augustine's and then we, we ended in the university together. We're in the same hall. Well, a problem he couldn't walk. So one time I said, What is happening to you, my brother? That Some fluid will gather in his knee. He goes to the hospital, they suck the fluid. By the time he comes back to the hall, the fluid has filled up again. And so, I was so touched, I didn't know what to do. So I discussed with my a mate of mine. It's my like pastor, Pastor Asma. He was, he was also an electrical engineer. Student. Then, with a friend, a medical student, at the time, he's He's, 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 he's an orthopedic surgeon at, uh, no, no, orthopedic. He's a specialist at 37 Hospital. And at the time, Bamosa. we're all students, you know? So he said, what, what can we do? What can we do? We said, let's fast and pray. So we fasted for three days. So I told my friend, listen, we will go with you to the whole chapel and pray for you. So we took my friend to the whole chapel. He had his walking stick. He struggled to walk when we were there. We prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. We prayed. We were expecting God to do something. Suddenly God moved. God spoke clearly to one Pastor Asma. So he went and just held this guy and stood him up. And began to walk with him. Let's go. The whole chapel. When we were leaving the whole chapel, I had his walking stick. He was walking normally. Amen. Amen. I kept that walking stick until we finished university. I said, like, you can have it and do whatever you want to do. It. He Are didn't the, need it any longer. You see, many times God will do things, but the instruments he wants to use are not enthusiastic. Any small thing, headache, hospital, codeine, Paracetamol. 
<laughs> you understand? This is a problem. Look, hey, if we didn't dare God by fasting and pray, God, heal our friend. Heal our friend. Uh, no. He, my friend. His condition makes it impossible for me to enjoy life if he's going through that. I know him and he's suffering. He, my friend. You know, the whole bears are out of compassion. It was an examination week. We we'll come to the hall and fetch this young man and drive him to the faculty. Mm -hmm. Those of you who know KNUST, drive him to the faculty. When he finishes the exam, then he will drive him back. So after we are praying for him, that morning the Behobeza came and this guy was walking. He said, I don't need a lift any longer. God has healed me. This time there is social media and there is all we know the history of all kinds of sicknesses and how wicked those sicknesses are and how people have given up already. So when you mention it, everybody says, hands off. No prayer, nothing. They only wait to, we woo. Where did this come from? Increase of knowledge, our faith has disappeared. Faith is gone. Nobody can believe God any longer. How did we get here? So now you can learn. The lame man which will heal, help Peter and John. And the people run together in the porch. That is called Solomon. Greatly wondering. Everybody is wondering what has happened. Yes, verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Now, Petro, who won't know, or boy and Cofono say, one said, Israel, Mary, ma, I dare and not. Why should you marvel? It's normal. But why look you so earnestly on us? As though by our own power or holiness, we have made this man to walk. It's not by our own power or holiness. Now listen, let's read on. The God of Abraham. Abraham He said what? The God of Abraham. Abraham Whom we are still dealing with today. And of Isaac. And Isaac And of Jacob. Jacob The God of our fathers. Has glorified his son Jesus. Any time such like miraculous things happen, God uses it to glorify his son Jesus. Who you delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go? But ye deny the Holy One and the just and desire the murderer to be granted unto you. And kill the Prince of Life, whom God has raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. 
kum no nya yakopo enya ni no fi awufum na mu nyina so moye eho adam listen in his name na ni din true faith in his name na eye ti dia e wa ni din ni mu no in his name ni din no true faith in his name na ti dia wa ni din ni mu no has made this man strong whom you see and know yea the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all the faith the faith in his name the faith will give you perfect soundness in every area of your life. And in the life of your family, in the life of your workmates, in the life of people who you will encounter, you will win many people to Christ if you take up this challenge. That true faith in the name of Jesus, you saw people's problems. They will follow you in Jesus. Name. Sometimes I understand you as a young girl, let's go out to meet people, then you talk to them, then you can bring them to church. You meet people in critical conditions in your office, some sickness is taking them, and, and you stand with them, and you take them into God's word, and you lay hands, and you put an end to that situation. They will find out, where do you fellowship? Which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Are you listening to me? Shall we continue? And our brethren, I watch that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before has shown by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he has fulfilled. Working the works of God. Working the works of God. Are you listening to me? Praise the name of Hallelujah. God. It is a lot of every Christian to work the works of God. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. You believe that? Would you ready? If you want to see a miracle, you will see it. There are some people who by virtue of the faith they have, they don't take no for an answer when it comes to sickness, when it comes to situations. They don't take no for an answer. Because they have taken the side of faith and they hold on to the sea results. If God can do it, then I can have it. Are you listening to me? Yes. Sometimes you get people pray, and when the person gets well, they say, Me, myself, I'm surprised because when I was praying, I didn't believe that God will answer. Hello. 
by faith through faith in his name through faith in his name do you know the name you are using to pray at that name every knee in heaven on earth and under the earth shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord Amen to the glory of God are you listening to me do you know the name that has been given to you to use and you are using this name you say hey, I don't believe you have this name you are doing trial and error hey no 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 you haven't got it it is proven it's already proven that the name works the name works hallelujah Amen. I say the name works I don't know what challenges you are going through but I want you to rise above it and teach others to do the same prove it in your life and help others prove it too. That is your ministry. A new ministry will be born in your life when you're able to prove this in your life. Some people say, I don't know whether God wants to use me or not. No, no, no. You take the word and prove it in your life when it works. Huh? Go and teach others too and help them prove it in their lives. And there will be other people too. You help them prove it in their lives. A new ministry is born. You get what I mean? Yes. You know, when people have problems, they will point to you. Look, this sister, she prays. So when she prays, God hears. So, so they will come. They will come with all their problems. Please pray for us. They say, I have some problems. I'm having some sleepless nights and all that. I've been thinking and thinking, and your name came into my mind. That is why I'm calling you. And, that, and that's why I'm here. Please help me. You are my last hope. Let people come to you and believe that you have a God you are connected to. Amen. This is what our Christianity is all about. Amen. You ask yourself, the thousand of one people and millions of people who live, how come your name alone came into his mind? It's because because you are living proof of the word. We are you are living proof of what you believe. The word is made flesh in your life. Are you listening to me? Are you, do you want to be that kind of Christian or the kind of Christian who sit on the pew? Just come and listen and you forget. Then you come again. Then you come and listen and forget. 365, you come and listen and forget, listen and forget, listen. Until you get to a place, you are no longer interested. Prove the word for yourself. We are Christ, Christonina, is that okay? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 
I'm going to leave you with a question today. And I want you to think about it. I want you, it is tied to your Christianity and your youthfulness in the kingdom of God. John chapter 6, please. From verse 1. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is called the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him because, you know why they followed him? Because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. They saw. This was also drawing them to Jesus. You know, Jesus would not be has, have been successful without the signs following. Are you listening to me? Yes. And he knows that his sending you will not be fruitful unless the signs follow you. So that's why these signs shall follow them that believe. He is giving signs to follow you. Yes. Jesus went up into the mountain and there he sat with his disciples. And the pass over, the feast of the Jews was nine. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? Yes, so Peter and any no who ni padom ya e guono or si Philip se he and a yenya pano a manko for ye di. When shall we get bread? A he na yenya e piani and a pano a manko for ye di. Let's listen. And he said to and he said to prove him. For he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him. Philip two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. Yes, sir. two hundred penny. How much bread can we buy for these people just to take a little? That's what Philip said. Philip now let's follow and see. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, there is a lad here which has five barley loaves oh. and two small fishes. Oh, but who what who are who they among so many? <laughs> At least he pointed to the lad. Yeah. He was coming for a miracle service, so the lunch the mother has packed for him. <laughs> <laughs> and small fish. Oh, there's a lad here. He's got five loaves and two fish. But how can that? Now, no, so about miracle service. It's in my mirror. Daniel and I was here. I must say, as a comedy one, Fakawano, Panunu, and a Namaki to our Mianu, or six fair. Now, we cry a vessel, a vessel, you pardon a vessel of crocus. Now, let's continue. Yeah, to us. And Gisa said, Make the men sit down. My Nipano and Snats Nassi. Make the men sit down. You see, many times when you see such actions, it's because there is some direct communication mm. that he knows that you don't know. Yeah. So the man sat down in Nama, about 5,000. 5,000. Yes. 
And Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples. And the disciples to them that were, that, that were set down. And likewise for the fishes, as much as they would. And likewise for the fishes, as much as they would. And when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, and nothing be lost. Yes. Therefore, they gathered together and filled 12 baskets with the fragments of the five loaves which remained, and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth, the prophet that should come into the world. Of a truth. This must be the prophet that has come into the world. Yes. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. Now, yes, so when we say, in Kofoy, at the end, Sheba, the Fana Koyeno, in it, it's a wa and a train, oh, a person, a year people be. Shall we continue? And when evening was come, his disciples went down onto the sea. And entered into a ship and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was now dark and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea, drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. And you see, there were some Christians who had to move to another place beyond for a revival. But that's we, the, it had rained and the river has overflown its banks and it looked impossible. Guess what? Next. So, some two Christians, they said, what would Jesus have done if he was here? He would walk on it and get to the other side. So the two of them prayed and they agreed. And they stepped into the water. The next morning, their bodies were found on the shore. Hello. Hi. You don't just say, what would Jesus do? And start doing the same thing. <laughs> did you know what Jesus had before he did that? Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to understand this so you don't just take things out of context. There's difference between logos and rima. And The logos is what God has said. The rima is what God is saying to you right now that he wants you to obey right now. Logos rima no no you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. 
Logos does not work miracles. Logos Rima does. You hear what I mean? Yes. Hello. Hi. Good. One young man was going to the forest for a retreat. And somebody warned him. There are some wild bears in the forest. No, bear. Bear, bear. <laughs> are you listening to me? The boy was wearing jeans. He had put a New Testament in his back pocket. So he pointed to the New Testament. <laughs> Now listen. Hear me. Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the rima of God. Faith cometh by what? Hearing. And hearing by the rima of God. He went. After days, he didn't show up. When they sent a search party, the bear had finished in Basa. His jeans was lying down in the New Testament in the back pocket. Testament are you listening to me? Let's know the difference. So we stay in tune to hear the Spirit of God. So they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh onto the ship, and they were afraid. Yes. And he said unto them, it is I, be not afraid. It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land where they went. I'm taking my time to read all this so we get to exactly where we need to get to. Now listen. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save the one wherein his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not to his disciples in the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. Now Habi, there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, whence camest thou hither? They knew he didn't want to go with the disciples, but he's there with them. Yes. Jesus answered them and very say, I say unto you, speak, seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Yes, so Bua once said, no cry, no cry, make someone say. They want to make their budget on Jesus. You follow this man, every time he will multiply bread. You won't buy food. You won't go to the market anymore. You see him, man. <laughs> Fleshly. 
What the air or bottle at the Yeskuso, it won't go to one red yanny. What is what the Yeskuso say there at Yanni de Dada, or Benya Biedi? Hello. Hi. Good. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endures unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto him. For him has the Father sealed. Now, Mamma, I'm ready. I want you to be there. I'm not saying I'm not going to be Ah, entrance the end. Come, come. Never abandon. You didn't have Mamma no. You're a channel as son and no. Yes. Then said they unto him, this is the question. Now was saying no say. What shall we do? I say, I say be sanu I say a jane na ebe. That we might work the works of God. Na ye to me a ze nyan kupon emano. What shall we do? That we might work the works of God. to me, I a young couple in human. Hallelujah. Amen. What shall we do? That we might work the works of God. It is a question everybody must begin to probe into. Where I are you listening to me? Yes. With all the scriptures we use today. To begin to take the side of God by faith. Let's see what Jesus said to them. Jesus answered and sought unto them. This is the work of God. That ye believe on him whom he has sent. It's all about believing on him whom he has sent. This is the work of God. That ye believe on him whom he has sent. That you believe on him whom he has sent. Who is Christ? Jesus Christ. This is the work of God. You believe in the one who you've sent. And by faith in his name, you obey him. Do what is asked you to do. You will see the work of God. You will see God at work through your life. You will see God's mighty hand manifest. Don't be a helpless, hopeless Christian. Let people observe. Say that I've been observing your life, and I see that your life is not an ordinary life. I can see that there is a hand upon your life, and I've been observing. Can you point me to what your secret is? Now he so me Are you listening to me? Aren't you tired of following people up and they do you and they show you a kiosk when you get there? It's not there. That's not true conversion. It's not true conversion. You are bothering them, so they just put the sinners pray after you. Now you are coming after them, they are running away. Are you listening to me? Let people pursue the God in you. Oh yeah, I'm serious. Hmm? One time a colleague of mine. So I said that could be any young could be. Colleague, an engineer where I was working. When I went to work, he had come to my office in and out several times. Looking for me. He said, I'm looking for you this morning. I said, No pay my best. He said, Why are you looking for me? He said, Today, today, right now, I want to be born again, right here in this office. I want to be born again right now. 
baby, I'm in Jinaya, Sesaya, Eheya, if I say now for and I led him to Christ. It's your dinner, I'm a ninja, gave his life to Christ. I happened to be in North Carolina. Now, North Carolina. And I saw a lady so committed to the pastor. No, what baby, I said, now obey, and you suffer the power. Apparently, this lady is the brother of this engineer who walked to my office mm. and said, I want to be born again. So then I told the lady several years ago I was preaching for Lighthouse. At Pearl of the East, we're using a hotel. And after I finished preaching and I call people to the altar, this gentleman who got this engineer who got born again, man, his father came out and some other people and I led them to Christ. So I was telling this lady, I remember years ago I preached and your father gave. He said, yes, at that time I was with my father. I had come on holidays. So I also got born again in that meeting. Amen. So the gentleman got born again. And God used me to get his father born again and his sister born again. Are you listening to me? That gentleman died many years ago. Are you listening to me? What? The sister, the father too is gone. Sister is so committed to the Lord. Obey Are you listening to me? Yes. Uh -huh. You see, when God is at work in your life, your life pulls people. It draws people to you. It pulls people. A tree and perform. You get what I mean? What we are saying? Trust people to you. A tree and perform about it. Everybody wants good things. Everybody can tell where there is hope. Everybody can tell what they are looking for. When they find it in you, they will follow you. That's it. And that is the life you've been called to. Now, when they are Baba, won't so. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you see the scripture? It's one work in Kenya. And many nations shall come. Not just individuals, but nations. And say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. So they are leaving the valley of frustration. They are climbing up to this mountain of the Lord. Accident. To the place of exaltation, uh, promotion, increase, ascension. To a height and a realm in God. Amen. That is only possible because the church has made it possible. Amen. Amen. Now, when you ask what to me, a yeah, 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 a safuna was weapon, jaw, moon, ain't he? Are you listening to me? Yes, you won't talk too much because your life has been talking to them all this while without even realizing. Won't Cassabe brace and say, What brab bono, a Cassacho be brea, one Cassacra winning. The sermon of your life is pulls people, draws people to the mountain of the Lord. What brabo as summing in a are you listening to me? Yes. It is a decision that you make. Hello. 
Amen. Don't be like these followers. They were following Jesus for bread. There are a lot of Christians who sit in church. They are following Jesus for bread. Oh, oh, if I can get a land that's easily gone and build and live, also live there and ride four by four. And these things are not tangible things to make you follow God. People are looking for the real thing. They want to change. They want to hope. They want what you have, but you have something to show. Let us go. You didn't compel them. They said, let us go. Let us go. Come and let us go. Let us go to the mountain of the Lord. And to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go forth out of Zion. The word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The church in his mature state. When the church and the word are inseparable. Are you listening to me, beloved? Yes. This is what the Lord is saying. What must we do? Again. What shall we do? Again. That we might work the works of God. What shall we do? That we might work the work. That we might work, work the work. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that if there's anything to seek, seek this one. Pressing into this one. I see too many people discouraged in life because they haven't really discovered their purpose in life. They think because I don't have this and I don't have this and I don't have that, I don't matter. No, it's not their having. You have it all in Jesus. You have Christ, you have it all. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Would you bow down your heads wherever you are? I just want you to talk to God. What must we do? That we might work the works of God. What must we do? That we might work the works of God. 